we're going to have a look today at finding more efficient ways to do subtraction of small numbers in a very similar way to the way in which we looked at addition of single digit numbers. What we see very commonly in our schools is if a kid is asked to do something like 13 subtract 7, they'll draw 13 little stripes and then go and cross out 7 of them and count the remaining ones. Or they will do it with their fingers, although they get into trouble quite quickly here because 13 is more than the 10 fingers that they have. What we want them to do is move away from this inefficient practice of having to count everything in ones or cross out everything in ones. And we're going to do it by going through a process similar to what we did for addition. We'll work from the very concrete where they're working with actual physical materials and manipulating them to a more pictorial or imagined version and then finally to the fully abstract version. So the concrete version we would have would be something like this. If they were asked to do something like 13 subtract 7, they'd represent 13 using their 10 frames. So it'll be a 10 frame, a full 10 frame, and 3 extra. That makes our 13. Then if they're asked to subtract 7, they're going to do this using their anchor number of 10. So they need to subtract 7. First they take 3 of those away to get back to the anchor number of 10. But they didn't only want to subtract 3, they wanted to subtract 7. So they still need to subtract 4 more. And because they know their bonds to 10 very well, it should be easy for them to see and know that the answer will be 6. Now, like we did for addition, we're going to want to move learners away from the concrete once they've had enough practice with it um, to something a little bit more imagined or pictorial. And we're going to do that in a similar way to the way we did for addition, where we're going to kind of do the idea of let me get to 10 in my head. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, just now. Um, and we're going to practice them on that kind of more imagined way of doing it until they become very familiar with that and can ultimately move to the purely abstract way where they simply can do something like 13, subtract 7 completely in their heads. Let's have a look at the get to 10 in my head method. I want to do 13, subtract 7. Well, if I put 10 in my head, and three more fingers, that's 13. Now I need to subtract seven. I remember I like to get to 10 in my head, so I'm gonna take these three fingers away to get back to 10 in my head. But I wasn't only meant to take away three, I needed to take away seven. So I need to take four more away from the 10 that's in my head, and 10 minus four gives me six.